tell the story about an incident that happened way back in the early 1970s in a small town in Texas. There was a young couple visiting the wife's parents in a small town. It was a Sunday afternoon and it was a Sunday afternoon in July. Hot, dusty, stormy. All the four of them, that is the husband, wife and the wife's parents, uh, they decided that they would play a game of dominoes. So although outside was really hot, the house was reasonably comfortable. Mother-in-law made some lemonade and it almost seemed like, you know, turning into a perfectly agreeable Sunday afternoon. Suddenly, the father-in-law got up and said, Hey, let's all get into the car and go to Ablin to have dinner at the cafeteria there. This husband is thinking, are you kidding me? In this heat, 53 miles away, and we go into the car just to have dinner at that one sole cafeteria? But he doesn't say anything. He just looks at, looks at his wife and the wife says, Oh wow dad, that's a great idea, let's just go. Mother-in-law chimes in and says, Oh, I have not been to Evelyn in a really long time. Let's just go. Uh, so then the husband, you know, almost automatically says, Okay, great idea. So they all get into the father-in-law's 1927 unair-conditioned car and begin their journey to Evelyn. The food in cafeteria was as bad as the hot, dusty ride. So after four hours, the four of them return exhausted with the drive, with the heat and with the greasy food. Once they come back, they are relaxing in the you know, living room and one of them dishonestly opens up the subject and says, Hey, it was a great evening, wasn't it? Mother-in-law says, you know what, but I would rather have stayed home then go and eat that greasy food. Wife says, oh mom, but you said you wanted to go because you haven't been there in a long time. Husband says, what are you saying? I never wanted to go. I think it was a relaxing evening here at home. Father-in-law says, oh, I thought you could, kids must be getting bored because it's a small town, Sunday afternoon, nothing to do. So I thought I would take you out. So here they were, all four of them took a decision, a collective decision, which was exactly opposite of what each of them wanted as individuals. So this situation has now come to be known as the Abelin Paradox. So Abelin Paradox is exactly this. A group decides to do something which is contrary to each of the individual team members' thoughts and emotions. experienced a situation like this where a group takes a collective decision which is contrary to what each individual member thinks or feels and if so then why does this happen group members fail to act on their own beliefs because they're anxious that if they voice out an opinion which is contrary to what the group is thinking group is not going to take it very pleasantly they will be emotionally discharged from the group and hence, nobody acts on their own beliefs. And then they end up in a situation which actually nobody likes. So my invitation to you is, as a leader, how can you create an environment where everybody feels safe to voice out their individual opinions? How can you ask open-ended questions so that more and more solutions to the same problem come to the table and then the group can judiciously decide on the solution that is best for the group. Let us know more about how you think about this and thank you.